Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Excellent Protein X. In this tutorial video, I am going to talk about calcium PL staining. So this one is for detection of the live and dead cell. So this one you can also use for detection of the apoptotic cell as well. Let us begin. So what is calcium AM? Calcium AM actually is the acetoxymethyl ester of calcium and is highly lipophilic in nature and cell membrane permeable, easy to permeate the cell membrane. And calcium AM itself is not a fluorescent molecule. And calcium is generated from the calcium AM by esterase in a viable cell. So when in the live cell, when the calcium AM get entered into the cell, then by the esterase of it uh, converted to the calcium and then this calcium emits green fluorescence so th for this is for the live cell detection so for the excitation is 490 nanometer and the emission is 550 nanometer and then propidium iodide in the another side the propidium iodide or pi is a nuclear staining dye and it ca cannot pass through a viable cell membrane so it cannot pass through the viable cell membrane because in the viable cell membrane the cell membrane is intact but in the dead cell the cell membrane is not intact so that's what um, it it get entered into the cell and it interact with the DNA with the DNA double helix of the cells and then emit red fluorescence. So and the excitation of the, the PI or PI is 535 nanometer and emission is 617 nanometer. But uh, with 545 nanometer excitation only dead cells can be observed not the green fluorescence. But in the at a 490 nanometer, both calcium PI, both fluorescence can be visible simultaneously. But remember that PI is uh, suspected to be highly carcinogenic. That's what uh, whenever you use for the experiment, very carefully you have to handle it. So next is the protocol. So how you perform this experiment? So better to seed your cells either 6 oils or 12 oils if you do for the calcium pH staining. So first the preparation of PI and calcium AM solution that is the first you have to take 3 different tubes and take PBS in each tube uh, and if you if you have the kit and the buffer a dedicated buffer sometimes provided by the company with the kit then in that case you have to use the buffer instead of pbs and then labeled one for only calcium am this is for control one for only pi this is for the dead cell control and another one is for test group that calcium am plus pi and this all of the tubes you have to wrap with the alu foil to protect from the light. So first, uh, the protocol is that after preparation, and you have to pre you have to prepare this calcium PI freshly, not the stored one. So first, after that, you have to discard the media completely from your oils, and then wash with PBS twice, very completely. You have to remove the PBS, and then add only calcium AM. And only PI solution in respective two oils. So in each in one oil only calcium AM and another one oil only PI solution that two for control for live and dead cell. And another other rest of the oils for test group you have to use the calcium AM plus PI for your mm, dead and live cells together for detection. And then incubate at 37 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes. And after immediately after 30 minutes, you have to capture pictures under fluorescence microscope. So you cannot delay 
and you cannot um, leave it for overnight this dish so this is uh, I I have done this one so I took these pictures so this is just for example that uh, if you have four oils so if you have two test groups and then two you have to one you have to use for calcium in that is for control for the viable cells and another one pi that is for dead cell um, control control group so whenever you uh, you check under microscope so you cannot see you won't see any red fluorescence here so this is for only green uh, calcium m and here you cannot see any green fluorescence for pi only so this is just for control so this is my pictures so mm, this is this test group calcium pi and this is also calcium pi and here this is only calcium and this is only pi all right so what i did here i took these pictures uh, separately in uh, green field and also the red field as well in the same place i did not move the plate so after that i merged i merged it by the soft the inbuilt software that i ha that i have in my um, in the lab so i did the separately for green and red cells for green field and and the red field and then i merged and then after after merging i got this kind of merged picture so this all right so i think uh, it's not very complicated it's very easy to detect live and dead cells so all right so thanks for watching if you like this video kindly hit the like button share it and kindly subscribe my channel thanks